the problem <coughs> this is the problem from the chapter of system of particles and rotational motion this is also one of the important problem for ip examinations and this is a type of question also important for computer exams also that's why how to watch the video up to last without any skip the problem should be like this the moment of inertia of a flywheel making 300 revolutions per minute is 0.3 kg meter square find the torque required to bring it to rest in 20 seconds the moment of inertia of a flywheel is there so here this is the one flywheel and that's we having moment of inertia how much as it is there moment of inertia is what i is equal to 0.3 kg meter square according to the problem this flywheel makes 300 revolutions per minute 300 revolutions per minute that's why here that is nothing but what it is frequency the number of rotations in particular time what is called frequency that is what here 300 revolutions per minute that is what you have to say 60 seconds so you can write one more step also no problem number of revolutions per minute is what here nu is 300 per minute that is what you have to write 300 by 60 seconds that means what 300 300 revolutions for 60 seconds and now what you have to find out actually torque so this is the we have to find out so according to the problem there is one flywheel it is there that should be having moment of inertia is this much and there will be in the rotation how many rotations there 300 rotations per minute so if you want to stop it for that how much torque we have to apply the flywheel is in rotation we want to bring it into the rest for that how much torque is required that is the question children so what you have to find out torque we have to find out clear so we have one relation is there torque is equals to i into alpha i into alpha here what is torque tau is equals to i means what moment of inertia and uh, moment of inertia i is what moment of inertia into our product of like this here all means what angular acceleration clear so now we want to find out this one for that here already i value is given How much this one? But we don't know about the alpha. What is alpha? Angle or acceleration? So let's be it as here like this simply. Omega f minus omega i by t. So here final angular velocity minus initial angular velocity. The rate of change of angular velocity is called angular acceleration. Angular acceleration can be Divided by the alpha. So that's why here first to find out the torque, we have first we have to find out the angular acceleration. So for that purpose, you learn here we are going to write omega i is equals to two pi into nu, two pi into nu. So initially that will make some three hundred rotations or three hundred revolutions. That's why here what you write two pi into here nu is what three hundred by 60 clear so simply what we here 2 into 600 pi by 60 so that is what 10 pi so initial angle loss is what 10 pi radian per second and then what about the omega f what about the omega f so here find the torque required to bring it to the rest Rest means what? Is almost all angle loss is zero. That's why here, while the flywheel must be comes to the rest, it is having some final angle velocity is zero. Final angle loss is zero. That's why you can sum so here. Torque is equals to here I into R means what here? Omega F minus omega I by T. 
clear so after that children we need some space that's why i am erasing this one so here tau is equals to what is moment of inertia 0.3 0.3 into here omega value is what 0 minus omega value is what 10 pi 10 pi by t in 20 seconds it must be comes to rest that's why here t value is what it is t is the 20 seconds 20 seconds that's why you have to substitute here then what you get here tau is equals to 0 0.3 into minus 10 into pi by 20 clear that means what here simply minus 0 0.3 into minus is what here simply 3 pi by 20 we have clear so from that we can write like this tau is equals to minus 3 into pi means what 3.14 3.14 into i am going to write like this 2 into 10 so then here tau is equals to minus 3 into 21314 by 2 so to understand simply i am going to write this here simply tau is equals to minus 3 into this will be rest 314 into 10 power of minus 2 by 2 into 10 power of 10 2 into 10 power of 10 we can write so then obviously what is tau is equals to minus 3 into 314 314 into uh, sorry divided by 2 divided by 2 so 2 1s are again 2 pi z and 2 z 1s are 3 1 4 2 1s are 2 yeah, 11 2 pi z are 10 again 2 z 1s are 1 5 7 1 5 7 so what are we 2 1s are 2 1 5 7 1 5 7 into 10 power of minus 2 and this comes to the what right 10 power of minus 1 then what you have 1 5 7 into 3 1 5 7 into 3 then what you get 1 5 7 into 3 3 7s are 21 3 5s are 15 plus 2 17 and 3 1s are 3 plus 1 4 which means what here tau is equals to minus 4 7 1 into in power of minus 2 1 minus 2 minus 1 in power of minus 3 then tau is equals to what minus of 471 by 1000 it means that what tau is equals to 0 0.0 on 0 0.471 0 0.471 newton meter so children this is the torque to torque to stop the flywheel within 20 seconds okay if you can understand this one like share comment the video thank you for watching